All right, this is chapter number six. Chapter number six happens to be inventories and costs of sales. And again, this is an overview of our objectives. And there are two objectives. When you are a company and you have inventory or merchandise, as the textbook refers to, there are two questions. You're going to need to take a physical count at the end of the period. Regardless of whether you use the perpetual or periodic inventory method, you always have to take a physical count. When you take that physical count, you need to figure out what quantity is yours and what is not yours. The first area we're going to have to look at is FOB shipment point and FOB destination. If the goods are between point A and point B, that is the buyer and the seller, whose goods are those? If the goods were sold FOB shipment point, the goods are in transit, the goods are the buyer's goods. If they are sold FOB destination and they are in transit, well, they're the seller's goods. So the first thing we have to do, figure out the quantity, whose goods are they? FOB shipment point, FOB destination. Now the second thing in determining quantity would be, are the goods that you have in your possession on consignment? That is, are they your goods or are they somebody else's goods? If you are the consignee, that is the person that was trying to sell the goods, for somebody else, they're not your goods. Don't include them in your account. If you are the person that owns the goods but place them with somebody else, even though they're not at your location and you didn't include them in your account when you count it up, you will have to add these goods to your account. Example, let's say you have an automobile, you take it to somebody's auto lot and you leave it there on consignment. They have their own autos and they are also trying to sell yours. They do not include your automobile in their account because they are the consignee. You include it in your account as the quantity. Lastly in quantity is obsolete goods. Obsolete goods, if they have no value, are not included in the account of the goods. So objective one, what are the quantity of the goods you have in your inventory? Objective number two is coming up with the cost of those items. There are four acceptable ways to come up with cost. Specific ID. In specific ID, we are going to have to be able to specifically identify the good that we're looking at and the price we paid for that. Now, there are only a certain type of good that we can do that with. Computers have serial numbers. Cars have VIN numbers. Appliances have numbers. Um, if you go to a jewelry store, they will always have tags on the jewelry, and it has an inventory tag. They can tell you exactly what they paid for that item. They will use specific ID. There are three other ways to come up with the cost. One is the weighted average. And we are going to be using a perpetual inventory method. Therefore, we will use a moving average. There are two other. There's something called the first in, first out method. That's the FIFO, and then there is the last in, first out. That is the LIFO method. So in this chapter, we have two objectives. One, determining the quantity of the goods, and when we do that, we look to the freight, FOB shipment point, FOB destination. Do we hold any consignment? Do we have goods consigned to other places? And are goods obsolete? And the second objective is to come up with the cost. Four ways to come up with cost. Specific ID, weighted average, FIFO, first in, first out, and LIFO, last in, first out. That, those are the objectives in chapter number six.